Another field where we hope to see more Filipinos be involved in is social entrepreneurship. John Paul Ferrer is a successful financial planner and advisor based in Chicago. His family immigrated to the United States in 1988 when he was only 13 years old. He did not get to return to the Philippines until 2014 when he became part of a program called Philpro. The Philippine ambassador to the United States, Jose Quisha, he started a program called Filipino uh, Young Filipino Leaders Program, Philpro. And I was one of 10 that were selected to go back in the Philippines. And that experience was extremely special because I haven't been back in 27 years. So going back to the Philippines, uh, the purpose of the program is to show us around the Philippines, the good, the bad, and the opportunities. John Paul was only in the Philippines for 15 days, but a visit to Agawad Kalinga village made a huge impact on him. We connected with Gawad Kalinga during that time and showed us some of the projects they had, including the villages. And so when I came home, uh, the thought of my family, my own family on my dad's side, uh, f about 50 cousins and none of them actually went to college. As a matter of fact, the house that my dad grew up in, there's about 45 to 50 people living in the same house and they're scrapping and they're surviving. There's nothing wrong with that. So then the opportunity to help and poverty through Gawad Kalinga uh, came up. Determined to contribute to the fight against poverty, John Paul partnered with GK's Enchanted Farm in Angat Bulacan to put up his own business venture to benefit the poor. We started a, an Erie Silk project, which is 100% organic and fair trade goods where we're creating women's scarves made out of Erie. These women are willing for an opportunity. It's just that the opportunity isn't always there. So when we presented the idea of actually coming and working for us as weavers, so these are the women that have not gone to college and we offer them the position to weave and also to raise these worms, they jump at the opportunity. And the industry does not exist in the Philippines. That's what's so special about this project. There is not one sustaining earring silk industry in the Philippines. We're the first one. And so the struggle now is to sustain it and create jobs for the women of the uh, Angat Enchanted Farm. The business is called Ambition Silk Enterprise. Play on the word ambition and a tribute to John Paul's grandparents. My grandfather's name is Bienvenido, and he was always called Among Ben and they shortened it to Amben. And as soon as shown is my grandmother on my dad's side, which where the, the 50 cousins live right now. And so I wanted to have a play on twist with the word ambition, having the ambition to do better for what for your kids and for yourself. So we just kind of combine Amben and Sion to do them honor. And the last word that my grandparents told me as we were leaving here for the USA in 1988 is I'll see you in a few years, which never happened. So I uh, and been shown it's kind of like a way for me to honor their legacy. Because the project was started from scratch, Ambencion still has to grow its capacity to be able to commercially market its silk. Having to start a business in the Philippines, there are completely different regulations and different types of licenses that you have to figure out. The goal is once we settle those registration, is be able to expand uh, the women from three to five to 10 because each woman could potentially create at least three yards of material per day. It's just that we don't have enough supplies too, meaning the cocoons to harvest and process. The first step that we need to do is identify a second partner where we can raise the warmth. And we do have a, a foundation that have expressed interests in joining us. So now we have the Gawad Kalinga and this big organization that are, that are helping us to try to expand it. Whether you do it to help others, or you do it for profit. The Philippines is just a melting pot of opportunities. And I just hope that people take that first step to research and grab that opportunity because it truly is a hustle and bustling country. And there's a lot of opportunity to be grabbed. Ambencion is only one of several social enterprises founded the GK Enchanted Farm in Bulacan. Tours can be booked all year round. Come and visit Angad Bulacan to get a tour of the Ambencion factory. And of course, once we have more product to sell, please help us out. 100% of the profit are staying in the Philippines. Nothing is gonna be sent to the, to, back to the United States. So it's always gonna be reinvested to help Filipinos in the Philippines.